We're kicking things off with this woman right here, Bernice Boom. Fly Girl Armor, <laughs> the first African-American female combat pilot who went from zero to breakthrough, and then you wrote a book on it. Bam. I mean, <laughs> goal accomplishment. I can actually say I wrote the book on it, right? Amazing. So how did you become a combat pilot? A uh, very... It, it, Intricate story, complicated. <laughs> Started at the age of four. No, let well, me make I'm it like, short, what? right? <laughs> Wanted to be a police officer, ended up getting involved in ROTC while I was in college. Mm -hmm. Saw a black woman in a flight suit, which brings in the whole role model, you know, seeing yeah. what you want to be. And ended up saying, that's cool. Became a cop, never forgot about her, and said, hey, I'm going for it. Went really? through flight school, graduated with my wings July 21st. And 2001, 60 days right before, less than 60 days before 9-11. Wow. Yeah. Why did you want to write a book about this? You know, it's, it, so many people have asked, how did you make your accomplishments? How did you become the first? How did you start riding motorcycles? Mm -hmm. like, even here, I'm in Kansas City to speak for Cincy, which is a direct sales company, right? Mm -hmm. it, they have a, a lot of consultants selling wickless candles and this product <laughs> and that product. And all of them are trying to create the life they really want. They're yeah. trying to make their definition of success, right? And I think that's all anybody wants. Everyone wants to create a breakthrough. They just don't know how. Okay, so, so do you have any tips for us? How do we create absolute, this breakthrough? Combat pilot, come on, I can blow some stuff up, right? So number one, and this is the biggest thing, you have to know what you want. So I call it creating your flight plan. Okay. Where are you, where do you wanna be? Mm -hmm. Number two is pre-flight your aircraft, you know, what, let's mitigate the risk. What are the pros and cons? What are the things that are gonna terrify you so we can transform your fear to fuel? So it's not just Ooh, to be afraid, I right? Like that fear ah, to fuel. Boom, <laughs> right? <laughs> Number three, that's the takeoff. It's like one of the most critical points. It's like the space shuttle launching into space, right? Mm -hmm in the clouds billow and in a few moments you know that shuttle has left the earth you don't know how high it is but in the next few moments it's circling the globe in execution mode which is step four execute you got to take action i call it a gutsy move right yeah you talk a lot about being gutsy absolutely why is that so vital and how do we get some more guts some of us are just afraid to take that step you know i love that question why is it so vital no one's asked me that so that's kudos oh uh -huh. <laughs> ah, right it's vital because that's your path on the planet mm. everybody else isn't going to understand it when you share some crazy idea and you're like all excited about it and you're like oh I'm gonna... and they say oh and they burst that little <laughs> bubble but it's not, they're not going to understand your dream or your path. That's our unique gift on the planet, right? Mm -hmm. I call it your purpose on the planet. So we have to execute. And then there's only really one way, well, two, two ways <laughs> to achieve your goals. Okay. The first time or again. Oh. Or again or again. Ah, I like that. I call it the re-attack. <laughs> Come on now, right? So you, you can't give up. You got to keep going for it. And are you, there is no security. Security is the new risk. Mm -hmm. When you look at everything that's going on in our economy, companies transitioning, downsizing, are you willing to put your chips in on you? What's your dream? What's your purpose on the planet? It can be really scary to get started. How do you, just, how do you just get started and do this? You know, Dr. King said you can't, you don't have to see the entire staircase to take the first step. Mm -hmm. So how do you get started? You just start, even if it's just researching things about your dream, going on the internet, looking up things on Google, uh, writing out an action to-do list, taking the small steps. Like this conference I was at uh, just yesterday when I was speaking, they have to go out and they have to talk to people and there are so many people that are afraid of the no, right? Nobody right. likes reject. I mean, I don't like rejection either, <laughs> right? But I said, do a hundred no challenge. Go out to get a hundred no's. So you kind of right. flip it around. Okay. So you're not afraid of the no anymore. You're actually saying, I need you to, no, I need you to say no. <laughs> right? But you're going to get some yeses in the middle of that. Well, Bernice, you're so. definitely living what you are supposed to be doing. You're I'm living trying. your passion. You're really inspiring. Thank you so much for being here. Love Christine, it. fly Love girl. It.